First tonight, a key witness in a murder case shot and killed and 41 Action News discovered the man accused of killing her was let out of jail on a reduced bond and it may have been due to overcrowding issues. Police arresting 27 year old Michael T. Dumas. According to prosecutors, Sims was a key witness in a murder case from last year involving Dumas. 41 Action News reporter Jordan Betts live at the Jackson County Jail tonight. Jordan. Yeah, exactly. You know, 27 year old Michael Dumas was out on a $150,000 bond for the homicide that happened in September of 2017. Today we learned that his bond may have been reduced to overcrowding at the jail you see behind me. This all started when Dumas was arrested last September. Police said they arrested him in connection with a man found dead near I-70 and Sterling. At first, he was being held on a $150,000 bond, but 16th Court District officials say that was reduced due to secure a $150,000 bond and he posted bail. When a grand jury was tasked last year with investigating the jail, they issued a report that said some suspects accused of serious crimes were being released early because there was too many people in the jail. While the report does not name names, one of the people may have been released during that time with a reduced bond was Michael Dumas. Now he's back in jail after police said he was involved in a shooting that killed Sarah Sims on Sunday, a witness in his upcoming trial. One attorney we spoke with says this doesn't happen often that violent offenders have bonds reduced. Nonviolent crimes, property crimes, uh, minor drug crimes, those types of things. So it is unusual to see a murder case have a bond reduced significantly. I did speak to the Jackson County Jail. They said that when it comes to these crimes, bail is a court issue. Once it's reduced, they can't hold the person if they do pay it. I did speak also to the Jackson County Prosecutor's Office. They said they can't speak about this case due to it still going ongoing, as well as Dumas's lawyer said they are in talks about what happens next since the first trial was supposed to happen on January 7th. Live in Kansas City, Jordan Betts, 41 Action News. All right, Jordan.